Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel on human design. Today we're going to be looking at the theme of success within the circuitry of human design. When people think of success, they often think about different measurements of success. And those measurements can be related to what's actually in their chart. So when you see that we are all uniquely differentiated, and we are all different, the meaning of success will be different as well. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Richard Beaumont. I've been in human design for 25 years, and 20 of those years were spent training professional analysts. If you want to know more about my teaching, there are there's a link to the courses that are on offer right now uh, in the descriptions below. Okay, success and circuitry. So think about it. If you are someone with a lot of tribal circuitry in you, then success is going to be measured according to, you know, the, the success of the group, the success of the tribe, the power of the tribe, the resources of the tribe, the caring spirit of the tribe, you know, where you all really love each other. You know, it's, I, I, do you get enough cuddles in the day? You know, do you get enough support when you need it? Um, is the tribe growing through their education? Are you enjoying coming together and feasting together? You know, is this sense of loyalty and community and love strong? And are there enough resources so that you can live a rich material life? This is going to be important to those people with tribe in them, with a lot of tribe in them, both the caring and the nourishing and the nurturing and the affection and also the support and the and the living life in a way that is really rich. And where you have no threats coming, success would be to get to a point where there is very little threat possibility because you are so strong, because you have established your your territory and your boundaries really well, well protected. protected. Think of the hill forts in, the, uh, in ancient times, you know? Everything, the territory is really strong, the guards there and within it, uh, the, the nurturing, the sharing, the families, the coming together. So I see success in a tribal way, in that kind of way. But that's not going to work for someone who is largely logical in their life. They don't particularly need to be part of, you know, a bigger group. You know, yeah, the tribe may come up and say, oh, give, a, give us a hug, you know, and like, all right, great, great. Now get off me. You know, it's like it's not about that for the logical people. The people that have a lot of logic in them, it's about getting things right. It's about really lining things up in a way that they are more functional. It's all about getting things easier in life, functionality, uh, automating things. You can imagine a, um, a logical person buying a house and they like the house, they like the area. Yeah, but the kitchen just is not functional. <clears throat> it's maybe a kitchen that has lots of you know, or a few character features, maybe it's got uh, old wooden cabinets or whatever, but the logical person comes in and goes, okay, uh, we're going to have to get rid of all that. Um, let's put in some stainless steel down here. Let's put in some mirrors here. Let's get the lighting fixed. It's too bloody dark in here. You can't see what you're doing, you know? And so they're going to want to try to improve what is it, what is ever there. So <clears throat> when you're thinking about logic, you're thinking about improving things. You're thinking about sharing again, but this time sharing for all, making everyone, you know, benefit in some way through the utilitarian um, view that they can have through bringing in the right new technology for sorting things out and cleaning things up and making the life easier to live. You know, this old kitchen is too small. Let's widen the kitchen. Let's make it bigger. You know, let's make it easier so that we can all enjoy being in a more functional place where you don't need to clean so much because it's all done automatically. And if you do, it's easier to do. This is someone who's 
success could be measured in terms of their future projection. So for the logical person, they look into the future and they want to take everybody into a better future. They want to be of service to the others, to everyone. They want to, the success for them would be able to get an invention out that would make every, everyone's life better. Now that would be success, to be honored for that, to be recognized for someone who made a difference to humanity in the general sense. And that would be much more important to them than, you know, um, fame for fame's sake or getting loads of money. They want to be of service. That's not to say that we live in a material world. It's not to say that all the circuits would, would like more money up to a point, but it's not the issue with logic. With logic, it's about getting the um, getting the rules applied so that they will work at all levels, trying to find a way to uh, streamline things. So that's how I see success. Uh, improving things, making things more functional, making things easier, serving the the larger uh, humanity beyond the tribe. It's for everyone. Success for the abstract collective is going to be a life not where it's all about uh, money and territory and and uh, affection and, and it's not about making everything more functional and easier it's about the adventure it's about growing through the adventure so success for a collective abstract person was would be to be able to have people listen to their ideas what they've learned through their experiences where they've traveled to and they bring that information to apply to this audience in a different country to be able to have somewhere where you can tell your stories from the beginning into the middle and the juicy bits and into the, the, the crescendo at the end, you know, to be able to really bring the drama of what life is through the experiences, to have a platform for that, to write a book, to, to bring out um, something that will show their deep experience to be able perhaps to be in a situation where they can teach others and make the teaching interesting because of the anecdotes they use, because of the humor, because of the hope they bring, because of the way they, they make the real more interesting in terms of the animation, because they can see stories everywhere. So success for someone who has a lot of collective um, circuitry would be living a life where there is new adventures where there is the expansion through experience you know to be able to have the funds necessary to to travel the world many times and go to different places always different places to meet interesting new people and grow through that connection of sharing with them and hearing what they have to say you know we have the the channel of the prodigal in this circuitry so listening to others is also part of it learning from the experiences of others and maybe getting an idea that you want to try it as well another experience to try so this endlessness of experience and expansion is what would bring success to someone and if they've if they've they've been materially successful and they're sitting in their homes not going anywhere or or, or doing anything new it's not going to feel like success and it's going to feel like a prison you must be free if you've got a lot of collective uh, circuitry in you. The gate of freedom is there, the freedom to begin something, the freedom to, to start off a new project or a new process, and uh, the life to really grow through the experience. If you're thinking about success from the final circuit, the individual, the knowing circuit, then it's not about any of those things. It's about knowing. It's about the truth. It's about the inner truth. It's about the poetry. It's about the art. It's about the beauty. It's about being with people of the right spirit, knowing that one is odd and that it's okay because other people are also odd around you. What a creative conversation you can have. 
you know it's all about bringing something new out so success for an individual would be something where the new is flooding through them where they're able to explain their knowing where they're able to bring out something new not necessarily because it's going to help others but just because they want to say it just because someone has to say it they can't die with the goal still in them so this movement of mutative energy whether you go through the melodramatic emotional wave where it becomes a melodrama but that's new <laughs> that's going to impact people with that that's going to impact people through their melodramatic uh, films and movies through with their with their uh, their beautiful clothes yeah they they bring beauty and they also bring weirdness and they bring the dark side as well inner truth has many things in it and knowing can know many things it's across every single center in the in the body graph all i can tell you is that it's going to be about being aligned to one's own truth and to the truth that is outside and to beauty and to creativity and to really when it comes to interrelationships with other people it's really about that that passionate affair it's about that that sense that the other person is a real they really get you individuals need to find people where they can really be seen and heard by others who are open to hear them an individual wants to speak their truth so when two individuals come together it's like one will tell their truth and the other one holds the space and is attentive to what they're saying and then it's their turn <laughs> it's really so success for an individual for someone who's largely individual is to continue to be in the creative muse to have a creative life that is moving towards greater harmony in one way or another to greater alignment to higher principles um and when i mean higher principles i mean i don't mean um the principles of humanity i mean the principles of beauty the principles of real black balance um to be aligned to an energy that is really moving upwards into greater and greater awareness of the truth around everything but it's always got to be beautiful as well um to be able to see beauty in the in ugliness to be able to see the gold in other people to be able to know the spirit of someone and where they're really coming from so they don't have to be with people they're not tribal and they don't have to share they're not collective but they do have to want to be around a <clears throat> an environment uh, friends and people where they can share their knowing tell their knowing they need to be around people where they can explain their newness they want to get that newness out i mean the newness comes out of one as the muse goes through and you don't have to share it it's enough that it comes out but to be recognized with that is also a sign of success perhaps that their time has come that society has got to a point where they can take on something new and they can appreciate something new and for the individual success will also mean that they can have they can be around music and they can be around the arts where they can actually be empowered through the the glory of knowing through beauty through truth you see on the individual way money isn't everything for the individual success means being able to live themselves being able to behave in a way that is loving to themselves without uh, having to compare themselves to other people unless you've got the channel of initiation for the individual primarily success can be seen in being able to go their own way to be able to live their own unique life 
without interference from outside. That is success for an individual. Okay, so I hope I've given you a little uh, taster of the different circuits and what success means. If you've enjoyed this, then please like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to keep in touch with what I'm up to, put your name in the email list in the bottom of my homepage on my website. And I will see you again very soon with something different. Bye for now.